talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your crap. We live on ATX Motivation Radio. Shit, man, Quinn and that fan, ATX Motivation, man, T.O. But let's get into this, you know, interview, man. We got... We got Miss Miss Yelisa in the building, you know. Go ahead and introduce yourself and you know, like let the people know who you are. Um, I'm Yellow Stud, aka Lolo, graphic designer down here in Austin, Texas, award winning, five time award winning graphic designer. I'm visual presentation representation for the community. Um, not just Austin, Texas, um, I'm worldwide now. I, I do graphics for people all over the the world. I've been doing this pretty heavy um, since like 2010. A little bit before that, but that's when I won my first award was 2010. Yeah. People started taking me seriously. Man, like, yeah, me yeah. Like, I seen the award show. That's that's how I got put on you actually, like by the award show. And Shakita, you heard the other stuff before or what? Dude, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's done like damn near all my fucking graphics, like yeah. from freaking songs to. Promo for South by Southwest to my own events that yeah. I've thrown. Like she's done damn near everything. Yeah, so. yeah. So, 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 like jumping into it, like, so I know some people that's like dying to learn Photoshop and do what you do, you know, right now, and they just don't know where to start. Like, like, what, what do you think, like, is a great starting point to trying to be pro? Because they're trying to be like you. What do you think is the best thing that? What's the starting point for somebody who's just starting their Photoshop? Um, I would say um, YouTube tutorials. I mean, just Googling. Like, you don't have to go to school to learn this. I didn't go to school. You know what I'm saying? My, my mom gave me, um, she gave me some raggedy ass DV, uh, like uh, digital camera back in the day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, it, it was like a digital camera you took pictures on, but you could even preview the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> it was on there, but you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it came with a CD. Um, to you know what I'm saying manipulate the photos and yeah. at the time I was working for Will Hustle um, I was his assistant Shout out you know Will what I'm saying um, set for life records and so I was working for him and I was seeing flyers come in and stuff and I already knew how to draw so mm. I got this software and I just put it in and I started messing with stuff and I'm like oh shit yeah I think this is how you make flyers you know what I'm saying so you know I just put Put some to the to yeah. the wind, you know what I'm saying, and push buttons and mess with pictures, and yeah. now here I am, and it's crazy. So, so basically, they they should just start on YouTube and make yeah, it YouTube cool. tutorials, um, YouTube tutorials. You can pretty much Google anything nowadays and ask a question. You're gonna get an answer. There's yeah. a lot of tutorials on there. There's a lot of graphic designers that have been in the game doing their thing that offer tutorials to people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying on how to do this stuff. So. Just Google it. That's yeah. what I say. You don't know that. Yeah. Just Google it. And you'll figure it out. Hey, what, what, um, <clears throat> so, so about how long have you been doing flyers professionally? Uh, like I, years would say, wise? I would say like 2010. 2010. 2010. So that's about seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and when do you think that, you know, was it always a game? Was it always a game from your first flyer? You got paid from your first flyer? Yeah, yeah. I always charged something. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't care who it was. I didn't care if it was like, you know, I put your name out there or whatever. I always got paid something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy because nowadays, you know, I have people hit me up. I'm, I'm not going to say no names or anything, but I've had some, some people, like main DJs for artists and stuff, hit me up and try to crunch down my prices pretty much yeah. trying to get it for free and I'm like yeah. dude you making all this tour money and the, you know what I'm saying like yeah. promotion is big that that's pretty you know what I'm saying it promotes you and presentation is everything yeah and um you get what you pay for you know what I'm saying if you want to keep going the cheap route that's cool you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying my stuff ain't even expensive like that so yeah. if you can't pay for my stuff I'm like you probably shouldn't be doing what you're doing you know for what I'm real. saying like for that's real. just real talk yeah mm -hmm. so that 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 right there is crazy so like like you just said it, that pre presentation is everything. Promo is everything. Yeah. That flyer is the first thing that the fans see, the manager sees, the artist sees. So like they gotta come with it, and it's just like, is that like a lot of pressure on you? Like every time you do a flyer, that's uh, that's, that's 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 you know. That's it's, crazy. it's it's not a lot of pressure, but I love it. I, I love making people look good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I love creating dope art that I know that people are going to see and they're going to want to come to your event, they're going to want to buy your single, yeah. they're going to want to know more about you. Like, I, I just love making people look good and, and dope, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can kind of say, like, you're in charge of, you're the first PR. 
Yeah, like pretty much. PR. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah. much. Um, you know, there's people that come to me and know exactly what they want. And for, you know, for instance, Shakita, and it's a lot of women, it's crazy. Most yeah. of the women, they come to me <laughs> and they're like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, they know from, you know, they want the words over here to the right, to the left, and I love that. I love when people have direction. Yeah. Um, some people don't. Some people come to me like, man, just throw something together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's crazy, but I, I work with all types of people and clients, and, and I just try to bring their vision to life. Yeah, mm -hmm. nah, that's, that's, that's tight. That's tight. Well, Shakita, you got anything for her? Um, yeah, I, I guess I kind of wanted you to touch bases on, you know, the whole hurricane situation in Houston and how you were involved in that and, you know. Most deaf, most deaf. So, um, uh, Hurricane Harvey, me and my homegirl Brandy Morris came together. Um, pretty much she wrote a Facebook post and she's like, man, I want to do something to help the hurricane victims of Harvey. And the night before, I was thinking the same thing. And Brandy Morris, I've known since middle school. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's my dog. Shout out to Brandy. Yeah. And so um, we got together, made a phone call together. We got together with Mike Wade and we were like, man, let's, let's do something for the victims. We just want to do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, we just put it together. We didn't know how it was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I put a flyer together. Yeah. We posted it at like three something on a Monday. <laughs> yeah. And it literally went viral. You know what I'm saying? Like we wow. were getting contacted by radio stations, news stations. Um, our number was, it was just crazy. It was crazy the support we got. We put it together in a week. Um, wow. We, yeah, we got donations from everybody. I mean, people from Atlanta, Chicago, California, Florida, we're calling us saying, hey, we want to donate to Hurricane yeah. Harvey, but we're not there. So yeah. what Walmart or Sam's is close to you? Let me put in some orders for water and stuff. We go and we pick up pallets of it. Yeah. I mean, it, we were just super blessed. And 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 a, a big part of that, you think, is just because of how clean and pro the flyer look? I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> man. I mean, the flyer came out dope. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it was just something, though. It was crazy because a lot of the stuff I put together last minute real quick yeah. comes out the liveest. Yeah. And it's crazy. Like, yeah. I just put no thought into yeah. it. And um, I, I just put it out. And I guess so many people wanted to help at that moment. Yeah, yeah. I, I just feel like it was Texas coming together. Like, yeah. we couldn't have done that if we didn't have everybody else to support. No, you know? you're right. It's, it was just, it was just like, like when Harvey came, like it was just like a lot going on. We, it, I mean, like everybody was trying to help though. though. Yeah. Like, like just to be real, like a everybody. lot of people, but it was like kind of spread. Like it was like good to get a center point, you know, like, yeah. and I felt like you were kind of like a good center point for like around. Yeah. You know, it's just like everybody wanted to give, no one said no. Yeah. Any, organization we went to or any store we went to and asked for help they were like yes plus more what else do you need like Man. it was just like overwhelming the support we got like yeah. and so um now we're working on our non-profit status um yeah. to become a non-profit organization yeah. and uh, we're doing a christmas drive december 10th at turner roberts recreation center it's a new rec center yeah i know what it is, uh. yeah so we're doing a big old toy drive we're gonna be doing free haircuts free hairstyles oh, wow. um live dj what day is that um december 10th yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Haircuts, yeah 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 two yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> two to six <laughs> but we're giving out rap you know we're giving you know free food we're giving out toys um to everybody it's gonna be a really really dope event really really real, dope. Yeah. that's crazy do the gifts need to come wrapped or unwrapped um they just need to come packaged oh, okay. uh you know what i'm saying right. so we'll do the wrapping we got volunteers yeah. and we're still looking for volunteers so if there's anyone who does want to volunteer and you know give some time to help wrap presents or yeah. just help run the event you know contact me let us know um but yeah we need brand new toys you know what uh, i'm saying like we learned a lot during Hurricane Harvey and we accepted everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing you learn doing a drive is, man, the clothes. Yeah. Everybody want to clean out and do spring cleaning and donate uh, their clothes. Everybody but, clothes smell like mom. Man, balls. no, we, we, really had, we really had stuff <laughs> came in that was covered in cat hair, dog oh, hair. Man. I mean, it was crazy. What we, it's mm. just like, man, respect. What if you were in this situation, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and yeah, you needed yeah, stuff? Would you want to go online and be yeah. handed, you know, pissed on clothes, yeah. hairy clothes? Like, come on, yeah. man. it was crazy. Hey, hey, speaking of that, it was like, um, it was like 26 people like arrested, or like like 36 people arrested in Houston for um, for like breaking in, like yeah, and, and after like the breaking in, like during a disaster. And they said there was actually like no law against that in Texas, but they were like looting or something. Oh yeah, like that. yeah. We t we actually, you know, during the Hurricane Harvey drive, all the st supplies we collected during the week, we got a warehouse thanks yeah. to Camille Smith, yeah. and uh, we had a warehouse and we packed it. We packed it two times, yeah. and so that Saturday through the week, we collected everything. 
We got U-Hauls donated, yeah. and we took trucks down there to Houston yeah. to donate the stuff actually to the people, the people who are in need, not Red Cross and all that. And yeah. That's the thing. They're good, and they do help people, but we're trying to get them people right there that didn't get to Red Cross yeah. in the streets that yeah. need stuff like hand this stuff to the people so we know it's getting to yeah. the people in need you know what I'm saying and that's one thing we had to worry about is looters and people getting shot up so yeah. one thing we made sure is we didn't have a lot of women going down yeah. there this wasn't a Facebook moment or Instagram live moment yeah. you know what I'm saying so like how do you how do you feel about looters though is it like is it like only the strong survive is that just, wrong is that right I just feel like you know those people are in those situations you don't know how you're gonna to react until you're in that situation yeah. it's kind of like every man for himself yeah, you know you've lost I, everything like, you've lost everything yeah. so you're in survival mode you know what yeah. what else can you lose you know yeah. what i'm saying it's it's crazy it's ATX motivation radio we here live with miss yellow stud shakita b and um man we go we gonna wrap up her interview man and you know get some final final touches on on the graphic designer in austin that's like creating the scene for all of these people, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's easy. Yeah. I mean, it's it's business and friends, and if your friends respect what you're doing, yeah. then they gon they gonna pay. You know, business. You got you got to separate that. Yeah, you have to like for that. Real. That's hands down. Have you ever had your friends like try to like get free work or like try to try you? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, all, all the time. It happens more more. It, it happens more than a little, and it's crazy because it's always it's always the people with the big pockets. Yeah. Which is crazy. So like, how do you how do you how do you go about that? Are you gonna? Is I it, mean, I don't I don't budge. You know, my price is my price. Like yeah. I said, you know what I'm saying. I have affordable prices for people. Yeah. And like I said, if you can't afford, you know, what I'm doing, then you know, go save up. You know what I'm saying, and come back <laughs> at me when you're ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I got something here. So it's like, so you do a lot of work, and you've been doing this for a while, you know, and it's just consistent business. So. Apparently you're doing pretty good, but is there like a such thing as like a life changing job that you had? Like, is there a life changing flyer that you made? Life changing? Um, I don't. I don't know if I've had a life changing flyer. A business changing flyer, like one flyer. And it was. Did you ever have a viral moment with a flyer that was just popping? And now you just was popping for. We made uh, an extra band that week. I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if I've had a life changing flyer. Oh, I mean, I don't know. The, I think the one that m went most viral, like I said, was ATX Stand Up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Austin Stand Up for that. Yeah. And, and that was one of the most simplest flyers I've ever done wow. in, you know, in my career. Yeah. Um, I haven't really done, I'm trying to think. Um, I just did a cover for Saya for yeah. her Hot Girl track that's about to drop. Yeah. Um, I've done work for um, uh, Diamond. No, no, not Diamond. Uh, yeah, Diamond from uh, Black Ink Crew. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've done our business card and flyer. Yeah. Um, I've done some different things for different people. Um, haven't really had no life changing. No, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't think not yet. Nah, nah. Not yet, nah. Not yet, yet nah. Dang. But it's, it's going to so happen. It's just consistency yeah. that's, that's just because really the artwork for two can play that game ain't blew up yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> speak uh, on it, speak on it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I ha it's, it's pretty consistent across the board. Yeah. Um, I def man, Instagram. Man, I tell people if you ain't utilizing Instagram to make money, yeah. psh, you fucking stupid. Sleep, I make so much bread on Instagram and man. it's out of Texas. So it's what wow. I. What I want. I want money from California, Atlanta, yeah. New York. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, and I keep those people. It ain't just one flyer. It's consistency. Like, you don't want to sit there and do graphics and you just do it one time and they don't come back. Yeah. You want to keep that client. Yeah. That's that's when you're doing something. Yeah. So, uh, is there any like graphic designers that you look up to? Um, yeah, most deaf. Uh, most deaf. Uh, Tosin. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely a legend in the city. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tosin. Uh, that's the first person. Uh, I've ever looked up to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. now, like, Sunny Dope Effects, you yeah. know what I'm saying? There's a Blue Star out of Houston. Yeah, oh, man, it's cold. Yeah, he did my stuff yeah this, man, th there's some dope graphic artists out there, and I'm not a hater, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I look at people's stuff, and it just gives me motivation to get better See and that, that's when I started you know I'm doing animation now I'm, I'm doing the moving covers I'm doing actual cartoon work yeah. like Braylon oh man Scotty yeah, Graphics Braylon oh man that boy's cold oh uh, yeah boy's Braylon, cold yeah yeah yeah. you ever heard of uh, Mozart like you see this stuff? yeah Mozart yeah yeah Kinda with the little stamp yeah, yeah he's dope yeah yeah, yeah 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 see like I don't know him but 
I just seen like he like created a flyer with love with uh, Kendrick Lamar and J Cole before they ever did music together, uh -huh. and the flyer just like blew up like, yeah. out of nowhere. And then and then I just seen that he did some stuff for like Lil Wayne and like, yeah 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 like big stuff. So that's like, what's up. That's that's what I'm trying to get to. You know what I'm saying? It just takes you know what I'm saying the right spread. You know what yeah. I'm saying the right one to go viral. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, Instagram is definitely yeah, good, doing that for me. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah nah, that's cool. That's cool. Well yeah yeah. So um, you got anything coming up or anything that that the people should do? Like like if they need a flyer from Yellow Stud. What should, what should they do? What should they uh, do? Pretty much, um, you can find me on Instagram mm -hmm. at Yellow Stud, Twitter at Yellow Stud, um, Facebook. Man, that's my government name. I hate that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, that only happens if someone hates on you too. That yep. does not happen unless someone says that is not your name. Yep. You know somebody what I'm saying? Has someone to has to. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's yeah. Somebody reported me twice. Yeah, uh, and man, you know what? I even photoshopped. I didn't get reported yet. <laughs> I photoshopped the documents, the city of Austin bill, because they were like, they want to see Austin bill, your ID, all that stuff. I photoshopped it, yeah. changed it up, and they were like, see, nah, like, man, like they I went in. Hey, you man. cold. Yeah, I mean, that looked hey. good. I pit, I pit, she I pit. They was like, you lying, I'm going to delete yeah, your account. Yeah, I'm like, they're getting ready to block you, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I didn't want to lose everybody. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, so now it's Lauren Lavazari. Man, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's crazy. So now I'm doing events. They're like, hey, Lord, I need. Nah. nah. It ain't Lord. It's Lolo. It's the other stuff. That's how people be trying to do me. What's up, Lauren? Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah, 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 plan with me. Good yeah. plan. But yeah, so Yellow Stud, just, you know, yeah. Google me. Um, Yellow Stud Graphics, hashtag Yellow Stud Graphics. Yeah. Um, you can find me easily. Can you spell that? Uh, y E L L A S T U D. 82 yeah. oh no that's my gmail i'm tripping yeah. yellowstud82 at gmail is my um email but yeah yellowstud y-e-l-l-a-s-t-u-d um google me you can find me yeah, most deaf, for yeah. real and uh before i let you out shikitty got anything for her um no she okay. pretty much took bases on okay that. before i let you out i just wanted to see if you can uh just let the people know what motivates you what motivates me um life motivates me God motivates me for sure. The money motivates me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, there's no reason why no one should be getting money. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's a lot of it out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just go out there, hustle, get it, stay focused. Um, let people hate. If they hate him, yeah. you definitely doing something for sure. For, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, my love, man. All right. That was ATX Motivation and Yellow Stud. Y'all make sure y'all hit her up, get your image right, you know. Y'all, like, that's like some of the first things that people really, really should start doing, like, the proper way. Because if you ain't got no, like, good image, you know what I'm saying? It's like an automatic turn off, fam. Like, I ain't gonna lie. If you send me something and I see like trash cover art or like a, a bullshit Google flyer, fire. nigga, I'm not coming, fam. Yeah. You know, and sometimes it's the style when artists are stupid famous. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes they be putting out some trash flyers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see yeah. some, some famous artists with some trash flyers, but they doing it on purpose because they're already, you yeah. know what I'm saying, at a high level, high yeah. profile artist. But if you like, trying to make yourself you know relevant man you gotta have something clean so especially online presence yeah. online presence is big it, now yeah. everything is social media everybody's looking at you they want to see what you're looking like you know yeah. what i'm saying what your promo material is looking like like it's gotta be a one it gotta be clean so <laughs> so y'all make sure y'all y'all want to clean your image up you hear her up ats motivation radio we motivate streets dj smurf let's run that shit. talent you have naturally Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your crap. We live on ATX Motivation Radio. Shit, man, Quinn and that fan, ATX Motivation, man, T.O. or something. <laughs>